Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today is a Project Wax video. I'm so excited to film this video. I was gonna push it off a little bit more until I film my products I'm currently using video, but I'm just ready to put more things in and ready to take some things out, honestly. So without further ado, this is the products, not the products. <laughs> this is the wax and candles that I'm currently burning and warming. I will have the playlist link down below as well as the last month's update. And yeah, there is a lot to go over. I feel like there's a lot more candles and wax. I typically start with candles, but I will have time sampling down below. If they're not there, it's because I forgot to put them, but I should have them down there as soon as possible. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, starting off with some single wicks. Also, I feel like it's a little bit boring this time of year for candles because I don't have as many summer candles. I'm so ready for fall and winter and I know it's July and I know it's like, okay, we don't want fall yet, but like I'm ready for fall scents. I'm not ready for winter, like no winter. <laughs> I'm just ready for fall scents. Like I'm so excited for September 1st because I'm like, I kind of want to start some fall scents. But anyway, going on to candles, I have only a couple. I feel like I've been burning the same candles in the past month and it's not as exciting right now. So we have some single wicks. The first one I have no update on is this lavender candle. I'm um, just burning this for ambiance. I haven't really burned it yet. I think it's like somewhat scented, but honestly I don't think it's scented anymore. So it is an ambiance candle now. And so I'm trying to smell it. I don't think I smell it anymore, but I should just light it when I have wax going. And then that way it's like, you know, ambiance. I just need to do that more often and haven't done that really. I did try melting, not melting, I did try burning these two. I started off with the Tangerine Guava Candle from TJ Maxx. I wish I would have burned this last year when I first got it because I feel like it's definitely gone down in scent. Like right when you open it, it smells, but then after a while it kind of fades away. I did melt it a little bit. It did tunnel a little bit too. Um, another thing, it's not really there. I think I'm going to pair this with some wax and have them going at the same time. Um, it is a little light, like I said, but I feel like if it's paired with something else, it won't like totally drown out either scent. It might work well with another scent. Don't know yet. So I'm just taking a break from it. And yeah, I just, I was a little bummed by that. Cause I was like, Oh, you serious? I can't even smell it. And I hate when I can't smell candles. I hate when I can't smell the candles. Cause I'm like, this is so depressing. I really want to smell a good candle and I can't. And it's like, I only need, like, I want single wicks to perform, but they just don't perform. So all right, moving on, we have this Sweet Escape candle from Target. I did burn this one a little bit. Did okay. It's one of those candles where you just have to have it burning for a while to actually have it like pull out fully. This one, a little bit tunneling, but not the worst. This one, again, I actually kind of smelled this one, honestly. It wasn't the, you know, the strongest candle, but I definitely did smell it. Um, but not the strongest candle, <laughs> like I said. So I'm going to keep working on this one along with the other single wicks, just intermittently you know for the rest of summer basically i'm not in a rush to get them done but they are being worked on somewhat next we have four candles um so originally i think i had six in the project i might have finished one recently i don't think i did looking at my empties i don't think i did but um but i have no updates to the bubblegum one and i have no updates to root beer so we're just going to show you guys what i've updated the only one i haven't really updated anything on is butter buttery popcorn because it's just not that time yet. This is going to be burned in August and September. So by the next video I post, hopefully I've burned it a little bit. Um, I burned it a lot last year. I really enjoy this candle. It is an odd scent, but I do enjoy it for that August, September month. It's like right before fall hits, but it's still summer. It's perfect. And so yeah, I'm excited to burn this one, burn this one in August. The next candle I've been working on is the Tiki Beach candle. I burn this in my room with me and my boyfriend whenever, you know, we're getting ready for bed or something. I usually put it on an hour before bedtime. And then that way the room is smelling like Tiki Beach because he enjoys the scent. We are, gosh, um, right here. So under halfway, I enjoyed this one. It's not my favorite scent. I know he really likes it, but I, I definitely would get it again. Um, it's just a nice tropical coconut scent. I think the scent notes are warm vanilla musk, orchids, toasted coconut. And um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I definitely get like, I definitely can tell it's toasted coconut because it's not straight up Waikiki Beach coconut. So yeah, I really enjoy this and been working on that one. The next one we have is Tuscan Vineyard from Goose Creek. You guys know, you know, I'm obsessed with this candle. It is so freaking good. Um, right now I am right here. So a little under halfway. This candle is a weirdo though, because it's very murky as I've said in my last video, but like it dies out. And it gets me so mad because I'm like, is it not going to pull out? But then the flames go back to life. It's a very like 
on and off candle like it's either really dim like wicks or then they're like actually normal again so i think that's like not uncommon for goose creek to be hit or miss but yeah this candle's all over the place but it still smells really good it's still getting great performance and i really enjoy this candle and i'm super happy that i'm not done with it of course i'd like to finish this candle but like i love this candle so like i don't know if i should take a break from it so i can save it for next year but i'm trying to get it done at the same time i don't know it's like i really like it but i also don't want to get rid of it <laughs> like i don't know and i don't find myself like searching for a goose creek haul anytime soon because i just i don't know that's like i don't know i'm trying to save money and i don't need a goose creek haul really badly so we'll see what happens with that one i might take a break from it but like at the same time i don't have anything else that i'm like looking forward to so <laughs> we'll see what happens with that last candle we have to talk about is berry waffle cone i started this brand new in the beginning of last month and we burned it a bit i don't like the smell of it when i smell it on cold but when it's burning it is so so good I've, like I said, used a few, a few layers of it. I don't know. I've used it a little bit. I love it when it's burning. It's so good. Boyfriend's not a big fan of the scent, but I burn it whenever he's like out or, you know, like it's a nice night. Like usually Friday nights, Friday nights, this is getting burned and it is so good. I'm obsessed. And yeah, I really enjoy it and I've been enjoying it and I'm very happy that I have it. All right, we're gonna move on to wax now. The first category we're gonna talk about is my living room melts. I have three right here. I did finish Wild Berries and Cheesecake, so you'll see that in the empty video. I don't think I finished anything else though. Um, the thing I have going right now is Black Raspberry and Vanilla. I have this going in my living room, my room, and at work. So I have it going a lot. As you can tell, I'm almost done with it. I enjoy this one a lot. I know it's just like a basic Black Raspberry and Vanilla scent, but I actually am really liking it. I don't know if I'd go out of my way and purchase it again and again and again, but I've been enjoying it and I don't know what I'm going to do with these last two cubes. I think I'm going to use them towards the end of August. Um, it is a really nice scent and it's honestly not that strong at work. I thought it would be a little bit overpowering at work, but it's been doing really good. So yeah, I might save these last two for room and work or maybe just both work. I don't know. We'll see, but I will finish this by the end of the summer, hopefully. The next thing I finally melted in my living room is Saturday morning cereal from Buttercup. I have used four cubes. I think I'm going to save these for next year. I know I don't like holding on to like half used clams, but like I'm just not in the mood for the scent anymore. The month of June, I melted so many things that were like lemon or Saturday morning cereal kind of things. Like another thing I was melting in June was rainbow marshmallow from Target. And these are really similar. This one's a little bit more lemony. Um, but yeah, I'm just like tired of the scent right now. So I'm like, I just want to take a break, even though it's like super annoying to have half empty clams. I just rather do it than like make myself annoyed and I rather be using things I like, you know? So yeah, we're just not going to use this till next spring. I know it's a little bit annoying, but I just, it is what it is, you know? Um, we'll just go on to Ra Rainbow Marshmallow since it's a similar scent. I have one cube left. I don't know if I had one cube left or two cube le left in my last video, but I did melt one. I have one left. I have a scent. One second. Unfortunately, the scent I have is being balanced on my phone right now, but I have a little three pack. I'll just enter a picture right here of it. And one of the three packs contain um, this scent, Rainbow Marshmallow. So my thought process is I'm going to either do it at the end of August or save it for next year. So what I would do is take this cube, split the other two cubes that it's like, a I don't know how to explain it. I'll show you a picture right here. Like I said, I'm going to split that cube into two cubes, have this one and somehow do it in my open concept. I don't know yet, but otherwise I'm going to save it around for next year. I just hate that there's only one cube left. This smells really good. I just, I don't know. I'm just not in the mood for the scent anymore. I kind of got, um, what is it? Just worn out of it the month of June. So, all right. Last scent we have is Moon Orchid. Um, I did use one cube at work and, um, this is a really nice scent. I wouldn't repurchase the scent, but it's really good actually. So I want to bring it back to work and maybe do it in my open concept as well. So I'm hoping to do one cube at work and then the rest, these four um, in my own concept or living room, and then I'll figure out the rest of them. So yeah, that's the update with Moon Orchid. Um, you'll see what I did in the end of August. That's when I think I'll be posting the next video of the series. So yeah, feels like it's farther away than it actually is. But August 1st is next week, so yeah. All right, oh gosh, moving on to work, work melts. So the one I've been working on a lot at work is Strawberry Lemon Cake. I absolutely love this scent. I'm actually going to put it in my club and get one more of it. I think I said this in my last video, but my boyfriend doesn't love this scent. So I bring it to work and it's really good at work. So yeah, I'm going to get one more probably in November, my November club. So yeah, do I need it? No, but it's really, really good. 
and I've been working on it. I think I'm going to do it a couple more times at work this summer and then the rest is going to be next summer. But I think one more bar of this will do me just fine. I enjoy the scent a lot. Um, yeah, it kind of has that like vanilla bean buttercream note at the top. Kind of gives me a little bit Play-Doh vibes, but then when it's warming, it's just really good. So, and at work, I usually have a scent going for a week and then I take it out and then put a new scent in when I come back in on Monday. Um, the one I have going, oh, I took this out recently because I had black resonate in the vanilla going, but I had cozy cardigan, so I've used two cubes of this one. This one's okay. I'm probably not going to use it at work for a while just because I'm like kind of done with the scent. It is a bit warmer and we're like wanting, you know, summer vibes right now, even though I just said I was ready for fall. But I'm going to take this and bring it home for a bit and not have it at work because, I don't know, I want to burn other things or warm up things at work. And then lastly, lastly, we have cashmere and corduroy. I want to burn an or warm another cube at work. I've only done one so far. I want to work on one of these after black rice and vanilla is done, I believe. And I want to do one at home too. So I don't have so much of a sense association with it at work. So yeah, um, we're going to keep working on this. Just not like diligently. And yeah. All right. Let's go on to other things that I've kind of worked on, kind of have it, and then we'll add in some more new things. So lemon lime fizz. Um, we've used one cube. It's actually in this room. It's this warmer right, right here. It's an element warmer from, it's from a local place. I picked it up, but it's like, I think candle.com, candlewarmer.com is from. So yeah, um, we put this one in. This is the boyfriend's office space as well as obviously my office space, but I let him choose between lemon lime fizz and very bright. And he chose lemon lime fizz. It's a very lemony scent. I think I'm going to get one more of these and then I think I'm going to take it out of my club. Unfortunately, you can't get this set anymore because it was part of the Easter collection, but I won't be that sad to see it go. I mean, it's, it's a good scent, but like, I'm not going to be reaching for it that much. My boyfriend doesn't really, he's not going to cry about it when it's gone. We also have squeeze a day so we could use that. So yeah, it's really nice. I do recommend, but can't get any more sadly. Next one we have is very bright. I have used one cube of this. I really do enjoy this scent. But I think it comes back every year, so I'm just not going to stick it in the club. I'm going to be really, really, really um, hard on myself or just strict about what I put in my club and what I don't put in my club because club is like something, if you don't know, Scentsy Club is basically where you can put scents in so you don't lose them. But like, that's a good thing. Like, you, if you really don't want to lose a scent, leave it in your club. You'll always have it. The only thing with that is like, I'm used to losing scents that I absolutely love. I mean, I do bath and work, so I'm so used to having what they call scentsy heartbreaks. I'm used to having like my fragrance heartbreak of losing a scent. I can name so many scents that I wish bath and would bring back. So I was telling myself that and I was like, I don't need to put everything I always or ever want in this club. I'm used to not having fragrances always have, or always having fragrances, if that makes sense. So I just need to be strict with it. Like, of course I want another one of these. I know it comes back every year. It's not my ultimatum scent. So I'm not gonna get it again until I really want it again, which will be next summer. Um, so yeah, I know with Scentsy, like a lot of people in the community have big ass clubs and like, I wish I could afford a big ass club, but I can't. And, and I just need to know, like, I'm used to just not having all the scents all the time that I absolutely love. Like I have scents I love, but I'm just used to not having or always having that scent, you know, if that, if that makes any sense to you guys, I don't know. Sorry, I went on a tangent. Very Bright's really good. I used that in my bedroom and it was really, really nice. I could have even kept it going and I took it out. I was like, it's so good. I don't have any updates on Candy Orchard. I think this is what I've showed you guys last time. I'm going to try to finish this clam. Don't know yet. This is one that I will keep in my club because it's really good. I almost want to take it out, but I'm like, why would I do that? Like I have money to at least have some things in my club. So I am going to keep this in and yeah, maybe we'll work on it more. Maybe we will. I don't know. Next we have sugar strawberry. I haven't worked on this at all. Um, the more I smell this one, the more I don't like it. And honestly, I don't know if it's something I've smelled at on Mars before or if it's like chapstick, but I'm just not a big fan of this anymore. Maybe it'll change when I warm it, but yeah, I'm hoping to use this soon, but I haven't yet. All right. We're going to talk about things that I haven't warmed yet and I haven't put in this project. Let's get into that. I guess I have warmed this. This is 100 acre wood. And this is the lightest thing I've ever smelled. It's very light. It lasts like a day. So I'm going to bring this to work. Maybe work on it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm like, might as well just keep working on it. It's really nice. It's just a really light scent. Next one we have is Bonfire Beach. I feel like these are good end of summer, like August time. This is like perfect for August. I really like masculine scents during August because it's like, 
kind of almost fall, but it's still hot, but it's like relaxing, you know? Bonfire Beach is more, it's supposed to be like marshmallow flower side and like marshmallow woodsy scent. It kind of is, but to me, it's not my favorite. So I don't have any scent notes for these. Um, I'll have my Scentsy consultant link down below, but sorry, there's no scent notes. I don't know if I love the scent, but I feel like I'll work on it, you know? I'll work on it. So gonna work on that. Another one that's kind of masculine, but a little bit feminine at the same time is Evening Sky. This to me smells like the store at home and I don't like love it, but I'm like, I might as well work on it. Perfect time is August. Like these are just giving me August vibes and they're so cute together, honestly. So we're gonna work on those in August. Next one we have is Very Vanilla. This apparently is staying in the fall and winter catalog. So I'm not gonna club this. This is warm vanilla sugar in my opinion. My boyfriend likes vanilla scents. Like I just said, it's warm vanilla sugar. So it's really good, obviously. Um, it's really nice. I'm gonna try to work on some of these cubes in my bedroom. Probably not an open concept scent, but a good bedroom scent. So maybe we'll throw it in, you know, the melting basket. This is technically my melting basket video, but I just say what I'm currently burning and warming. I'm gonna try to speed this up so my storage doesn't hate me. The next one I'm putting in is Angel Experiment, Experiment 624. I think this smells super similar to Berry Bright but a little bit more fruity. I'm really excited to melt this and see how I think about it. I'm not going to keep this in my club because it's literally $7 and I have so many other scents that I really want and so many other scents that I, you know, like more. So unfortunately I'm not keeping it in, but yeah, it is really nice as I smell in cold. And then the last one I'm putting in is Cotton Candy Tails. I am getting one more of this um, come August. My August Scentsy Club haul will be posted probably mid-August. I'll have my Scentsy playlist in link down below. This is really nice and I almost want three more of it or two more of it because I'm getting one more. I almost want three in my collection, but yeah, I am excited to melt this. And yeah, the reason why I want to film this video is because I don't want to like work on something that I didn't tell you guys about. So that's why I'm filming this video. But yeah, really excited to work on that. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, I talked a little bit fast. Another thing I wanted to point out is that like I'm able to comment to you guys, I hope at least. But like my YouTube is messed up right now and I cannot comment on my friends' videos right now. So if you are someone I watch frequently and usually comment on and you haven't seen a comment from me, it's because YouTube hates me and hasn't been posting my comments. I literally will like look and I'm like, they haven't responded to me. And then I go on my boyfriend's phone and I'm like, my comment's not there. So it's been happening to like multiple videos. Like it's not just one person, it's everyone's video. I can't comment on anyone's video. I mean, I can't, it's just, they don't actually post online so yeah i've been having that problem and there's like no youtube support at all so i'm just like probably gonna just call the google general number i think i don't think it's gonna work i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry i talk really fast and jumble up my more words but that's just who i am if you're not already check my out on instagram it's back by love i post empties house collection it's all on there and i hope you guys have a great rest of your week i will talk to you guys later bye